all right y'all we are back with another video from benny and man benny has been on a road shout out to him i will leave the original video in the description so make sure y'all click on it go show benny some love he's doing a great job over there and he had this video like the title was very very interesting to me so it's called tv host snaps on air in maui meltdown biden standing on graves of children man Man, man, man. And we already know, like I mentioned before, that we already know that Biden is corrupt. He shouldn't be in office. Uh, the Democrats already turned their back on him. They already want him gone. And then come yesterday, it seems like the Democrats, they want Biden gone. And it seems like they're trying to put Michelle Obama in the mix. They like they want her to run to think if they get Michelle to run, that's going to take out Trump. And I mentioned this before. It don't matter who they try to put in Donald Trump. He still is going to win in 2024. That's just how I feel about it. The man has been through too much this whole year, and everybody is praising Trump. His stock done rose. He's winning in all the polls. So, like I said, we already know that's what the Dems trying to do. They're trying to put anybody they can in front of Trump to see if they can beat him. But it's not going to work. So like I said, we're going to uh, go ahead and dive straight into this. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Shout out to everybody showing so much support. Everybody has been leaving positive comments in the comment section. And I just want to thank everybody that clicked on this video for the very first time. I appreciate you as well. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive straight into this. More land burned to the ground as a consequence of wildfires then occupy the in state or the entire land of the state of Maryland from down in New Mexico and Alabama all up into Montana and around. It's been devastating. Now we can get into the stats. We could actually talk about the effects of natural disasters, their frequency and their severity and actually put it into historical context and give you actual intelligence on whether or not this is an increasing problem in the United States. But that's not the point that I think is important to make in this moment is that I'm sick and tired of politicians standing on the graves of dead children in the case of school children, school shootings or natural disasters where towns are burnt to the ground or destroyed by hurricane and using it as a moment to ghoul and pimp for their politics. It's being beyond grotesque to land into a disaster zone where people have been destroyed and to say, you know what should be the solution here? You know what the problem is? You haven't given me enough power. Your climate science, no, your climate change chicken little has turned into a religion. It's not to say there's not science in some of these elements for us to discuss, but you've turned it into a religion and you're the same people that can't sound an alarm in Lahaina and you're asking us to give you the power and money to turn over to you the global thermostat. Mm. I'm sorry, but you don't have the competency to run anything, much less to stand in these moments of destruction and say, the real problem here is you haven't given me enough power. Some of you Boy, may die, we okay. but it's a sacrifice. I am willing to make. <laughs> Lower Fox Wide. <laughs> Hot Will Kane. Is Fox News going to let Will Kane continue in that chair? Are they going to do him the way that they did Tucker Carlson? Who knows? It's your boy Benny. What's up, guys? Uh, People are finally snapping and saying, no, no, no. We are done with this. We are sick of the lies. We are sick of the disgrace. We are yep. sick of the America last policies. Even in Maui, where we assume that the vast majority of the people there voted for Joe Biden and voted for Democrat policies, we as Americans are united against the yep. people that are trying to keep those people down. They're spitting on them while they lavish and rain money down upon Ukraine, while they try and stand on their graves, as Will Kane just said there. Just impressive stuff. Really amazing stuff. Stop. It's incredible to see people snapping. Will Kane being one of those guys who actually went to Maui. Will Kane being one of those people yeah. who actually traveled there uh, and showed and revealed sort of what's going on as much as he could because they won't let people film. They won't let people actually take cameras in there. Will Kane had to go out on a boat and like try and film stuff. He has like a, a property there, so he was allowed in, but they wouldn't even let him film. Fox News, of course, tries to adhere by the rules. There are other independent journalists that are really showing you what's going on there, and we'll link to one of their videos at the end of this video. But there is a series of reasons why people are incredibly fed up and disgusted. Uh, this video of Oprah and The Rock essentially trying to use a fraud fundraiser yeah. uh, that goes and is linked to the entertainment industry 
to try and give money to the people in Lahaina when they are both billionaires. Exactly. Everyone says The Rock's only worth $800 million. Okay, fine. Just give 5% of your net worth. How about that? You're from Hawaii. Yeah. So why not give 5% of your net worth? That would still help rebuild homes for like the entire population. Oprah's worth $3.5 billion. They can't give any of that? They give nothing? They both started off this video saying they gave $5 million each. Do you know that's like less than 0.002% of Oprah's net worth? Boy, I'm that, I mean, you. that's like going out to eat and leaving a penny for exactly. a tip on the bill. Such fraudulence, such evil. These people disgust everyone, and you can see it in the comment section. You can see it in the comment section. People are starting to, like, finally lose it. Where were you on the night of the fire, Oprah? Math ain't matching on this one. You guys literally have so much money, and you can't – you can donate it and make it back within a year. Yeah, exactly right. Exactly. They can they're already a comprehensive list of locals who lost their homes who have been displaced. People can donate directly to them instead of your fund. Dolly Parton donated her own money. This is Oprah saying that Dolly Parton is the one who inspired all this. Yeah. Well, Dolly Parton gave her own money. These comments give me hope that people are waking up. I want to hear from the mouths of actual Hawaiians from Maui are actually receiving the money to believe this. They send a bunch of bots. Good to see people, normal people, waking up. Comment section win. There this you. is so ironic. A billionaire and a millionaire asking you to donate your money. <laughs> I can believe that people are actually putting money into this. How about you and The Rock take some of your millions out of your pockets and contribute? That's exactly right. This person did the math. Uh, you have, with the wealth you have, your donation is equivalent to $300. Exactly. You and all your filthy rich cronies have the ability to save Maui for your damn selves. Or were they the ones who actually wanted Maui to burn in the first place? Well, that's what a lot of people are wondering. When you see the actual cruelty of those in charge here, Joe Biden comparing the Maui fires to almost losing his Corvette once. Mm. That was, that was okay, stupid. so Joe Biden went uh, to the island of Maui. Uh, Joe Biden made jokes, laughed about how hot it was, and then told a joke, told told a story about how he apparently almost lost his Corvette in a fire. Lightning struck the home uh, man, on a little man, lake man. outside of our home. Biden says, "So feel bad for me." I almost lost my wife, my 67 Corvette, and my cat. Joe Biden feels the pain of Lahaina talking about his kitchen fire. As the officers said, the fire department that responded to Joe Biden's kitchen fire said, um, yeah, this fire, the, there was a small fire, and we put it out in five minutes. That's what the official report is. Here from the AP, deadly Maui fires, many had no warning and no way out. Those who dodged a barricade survived. What does this mean? This means that the people who actually ignored the individuals in charge, yes. the authorities, the authorities that wouldn't give the people of Maui water, the people who wouldn't release uh, uh, the resources needed to fight the fire, mm -hmm. the people who closed down the roads and locked people in to a furnace of a city. They had to throw themselves in the water. They like jump over the bridge and like save themselves by throwing themselves in the ocean. And those who didn't get burned alive, God forbid. And they didn't sound these sirens in order to alert them. These people whose ecological cultish, climate cultish policies caused this because they do not maintain the growth around the power lines needed. There's a pretty convincing video that these power lines came down, went down into the middle of the forest uh, around there. And there's all this dry brush. So instead of maintaining those power lines, mm -hmm. the power company is 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 focused on uh, diversity and equity programs. These people, these sick monsters. Joe Biden sent them. See that right there is what really pissed me off, and I'm going to continue to say this. And uh, I think Benny did this video a couple weeks ago. We all know that right now, Oprah didn't turned off her comments. She literally didn't block people uh, from making a comment up under what her and The Rock was saying, trying to get money. What What is $5 million from The Rock and what is $5 million from Oprah? The, look at their net worth. And they only going to donate $5 million and want us to donate the rest when they got other millionaire friends. And I'm going to continue to say that because it needs to be heard. And then she went on this show. She played victim, talking about all of us was attacking her just because everybody called her out. I mean, it was all over the internet, whether it was TikTok or whatever you want to call it, Instagram, it was everywhere. Everybody was calling her out. And they only managed to make, what, $5,000?
and donations because everybody else wasn't buying it. We like, man, look at the money you got. You got three point five. You worth three point five billion, and you only gonna take five million out of that three point five billion to put towards Maui. You and the Rock, all the money that y'all got, and y'all want normal everyday working people to donate the rest of it. Come on, man. You're going to continue to get called out by doing stuff like that. And Joe Biden, and that's what pissed me off about Joe Biden. From the very beginning when all this first happened, when they first asked Joe Biden about it, this man said no comment and started smiling and got in the vehicle. And that's when Trump called him out. Trump would have never did nothing like that. Donald Trump would have never said anything. If, if they would have asked Donald Trump, if he was still president in charge right now, and they would have asked him the same question, I guarantee you he would have gave you a good answer. Like, I, I'm sorry about uh, uh, what happened. I wish it didn't happen. You know, Donald Trump would have gave some type of explanation after a lot of people lost their lives. It, it's a sad situation and stuff like this. And I just didn't like the way Joe Biden said no comment and started smiling. As if that was funny, man. We got people that lost their lives. These people, a lot of people lost their lives, man. You got these police that still haven't been uh, investigated yet. The ones, whoever it was, that stopped the people from getting out, telling them to turn back around, they should be getting investigated. Why hasn't that came up on the news yet? So, I, I mean, all of this is just, it, I just don't get it, man. And this man bringing up a kitchen fire at his house, and a Corvette on top of he almost lost his cat over people that lost their lives. This man should not be in office. He should not be in office. You got Kamala Harris talking about she think, supposed to be taking this spot. We hearing Michelle Obama. Look, it don't matter who they try to replace Joe Biden with because at the end of the day, whoever's in, uh, they trying to put in front of Trump, Trump is still going to win. So, the whole comment section, do Trump 2024. I don't care who they go get. You can go get any other Democrat you want to get that you want to get, Obama, Michelle, Kamala Harris, whoever you want to get. Ain't none of them going to beat Donald Trump at the end of the day. That's just facts. And the Dems don't like it. They know they can't beat them. That's the reason why they're trying to get them all these indictment charges. That's why they're trying to get the, these speedy trials and stuff going because they don't want Trump in charge. They know he's going to win. So they got to find a way to get them out the race. At the end of the day, it's not going to happen. And $700 each for the Maui fire victims. Insulting people. Focused on uh, diversity and equity programs. These people. These sick monsters. Joe Biden sent them $700 each for the Maui fire victims. Insulting people. $700. Yeah, it is. Joe Biden has sent thousands of dollars per American family to Ukraine. Uh, the estimates that I read was $2,500 per family, per American family unit has mm -hmm. been sent to Ukraine. That's wealth evaporated from your family, your currency, and your country that you will have to pay debt on. We will be debt slaves for the rest of our country's existence, which at this point, who knows how long that'll be because of what Joe Biden is doing for Ukraine right now. But he can only do 700 bucks for the people. $700. That doesn't even pay for a month's rent That's in crazy. Hawaii. So unbelievably insulting. So incredibly insulting. Where's the, uh, where are the studies? Where are people actually like understanding what, what, what truly went on here? People are enraged about this. People are really upset and there are a lot of questions that they have to ask. I, I said there would be an individual uh, at the end of this video. There's a guy who actually lives there. We try as hard as we can. Mm -hmm. I don't live there. We try as hard as we can to like step back and like go to the source. There's a dude who just like is a realtor there and he's walking around like saying, this doesn't make any sense. How do these cars in the middle of these fields get so hot? We did a video on this. We thought it was very interesting. Uh, here's a man who's wandering around just with his cell phone in Mac. And like I said, that right there was the, the crazy part to me. Joe Biden can give all the money to Ukraine and resources and stuff. But yet these people just lost their house and you give them seven hundred dollars. That is very, very insulting. Like, come on, man. That's the reason why he, uh, Joe Biden is constantly getting called out. The man is just not fit to be president. How are you going to do something this crazy? $700? In a place like Maui, what are they going to do with $700? This is, <laughs> boy, I tell you the truth, man. 
I tell you the truth, Joe Biden got to go. Maui, uh, saying none of this makes sense. Just like Will Kane at the start, uh, none of what's going on in Maui makes sense. It's time for an actual reckoning. And it seems like all, only the evil people are the ones who are going to benefit from all of this. Oprah, The Rock, Obama, Biden. Yep. They're the people who benefit from all of this. Let's take a look at the ground. Reporting from the ground. Go. But then you have these two vehicles <laughs> sitting so in here like that have melted oh, yeah, it's aluminum. aluminum. So, Donovan, if you want to just take us through this car real quick and show us. I know you know a few things about cars. You can point out some things that that require a very high temperature. By the way, we just talked to the neighbor who was talking to an investigator in, in uh, Lahaina Town yesterday, and he said the investigator told him the temperatures reached in excess of 3,000 degrees. Wow. So tell us what you got, Donovan. Well, we have about 300 degrees for aluminum. And this aluminum- 300? 1300. 1300, okay, thank you. 1300, well, 12, 1220, but if you round it up, because it was not only melted, it was liquefied to the point where it it, it became a, a, river, a river of aluminum going down the dirt hill. So this is the aluminum rim, obviously. There's the tire, what's left of it, the steel threads or steel, and, steel belts. And, and maybe combination gas tank if the gas tank's aluminum. Okay, okay. Um, so you have liquefied aluminum running down the side of a grass fire. The caliper, caliper melted, unless they stole it. But it, it looks like the bolts are still there. So... That, and then you get the belt, the steel belt of the tire, which is just a bunch of a wire mesh laying there. And you have the Man. windows that were melted, the back window. If you look at the big old, like, almost like... The glass is just melted. Yeah, it was... Dripping. This is uh, almost what you would see if you put a car in an incinerator. But this is not surrounded by a bunch of structure fires or anything. Yeah, there's, that no, would... there's no fuel. Man. Like I said, man, that's a sad situation and stuff like that. And that's the reason why I'm going to still be on record and say that them police, whoever uh, told the, a lot of people to turn around and all of that, and the ones that, that uh, disobeyed was the one that made it out and the one that agreed and... Uh, I guess decided to stay and wait on the police officer, whoever the case may be, them the ones that lost their lives. So I'm like, why not put that police officer or police officers? I don't know how many it was or whether it was one, two or three, I don't know. But the one that was making people stay and turn back around need to be investigated immediately. They the ones that need to be in jail. But hey, we know how the news that the media, they're just gonna push what they wanna push. But y'all know me. I'm going to constantly keep reporting on it until something get did. But uh, y'all get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Thank you all for watching. Like I said, I will leave the original video in the description. Make sure y'all go check it out on Benny Page. Other than that, I'll catch y'all in the next one.